right, welcome back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen. Now, for the last week, I've been talking about relative, absolute, and mixed references. And finally, I'm going to teach you the shortcut key, which would have made the whole last week easier. You know, in those references, we have to type a dollar sign either before the column, letter, or the row number, or both. And it turns out that using the F4 key will greatly simplify the entry of those formulas. Now, I've started to enter our formula here and I always need to point to B1. I need that to be an absolute reference. So I've just entered B1 and if I hit the F4 key, Excel will automatically put the dollar signs in for me. And F4 is actually a toggle. If I would hit F4 again, it would switch to just the dollar sign before the row, just the dollar sign before the column, and then back to a relative reference. So you can actually kind of toggle through these and see which one makes the most sense. In this case, we need the absolute reference. And then I'm also going to add cell C6. And in this case, I always need to point to column C. So I hit the F4 key once, twice, three times. That's the right one, pointing to cell dollar sign C6. And finally, we're going to multiply by our bonus factor up in row E1. And in this case, I want to hit the F4 key twice to make sure that I lock row 1, but allow column E to be copied to other columns as we move to the new months. Now, one of the gotchas with the F4 trick is that you can only hit F4 immediately after you type the cell reference. It'll work now, but if I would happen to hit the plus sign and try and hit F4, Excel doesn't know what I need to do. Um, so in that case, you can actually highlight the range in your formula and hit the F4 key to change it. Using the F4 key will greatly simplify the entry of the dollar signs in relative, absolute, and mixed reference formulas. There you have it. Thanks for joining me. Stop back tomorrow for another podcast from Mr. Excel.